Okay, so this here in this program, we are going to use a while loop. Okay, we are going to use the while loop. And in this, first of all, we enter, num we enter a number from keyboard. So whenever you enter, whenever you enter a number from keyboard, it's going to be in the string format. So you need to convert that into integer. For that purpose, we use INT function with the help of that the given number can be converted to integer. Okay, but due to any reason, if it's unable to, if it's unable to convert to integer, in that case, it comes to uh, accept part and it's going to print the error for us. Okay, we are trying to execute this piece of code. If there is any error problem in this code, in that case, it comes to accept part, it reports the exception. Now here, what we do, num equal to int, num str, sum equal to zero we have taken and start equal to one. Because what is the, what exactly we are trying to do? Print all natural numbers and natural numbers. Natural numbers start with one. There is no end for the natural numbers. Okay, there is no end for the natural numbers. So here in this case, start equal to one I have taken while start less than or equal to num. As long as start is less than or equal to num, what I do, I'm going to add the numbers. So first what I do, sum equal to sum plus start. Then I'm increasing start. Initially one, then two, then three, then four, then five. So as long as it's less than or equal to num, in that case this works, but whenever it is greater than num, in such case, what will happen? It comes to else spot and it's going to print this. Okay. And at the end, what happens here? It's going to be printing the sum. Like this, this is going to be working. And in the case of while loop, you have a while condition followed by here expression, followed by you require a semicolon, sorry, not semicolon, colon. Then here, this is called as actually while loop block. In such case, what happens? The code must be getting right indented a little bit. So when you look at while, while where it is starting, it's starting here, but the sum is going to be getting started a little bit right side. So this is called as basically indentation. Okay, in the case of else also, same thing is happening here. So try is nothing but a code block. Whenever you start a new code block, automatically the code must be right indented inside that. Okay, you can form a block using actually the indentation. So this is indentation here. Like this, now this has to here, print some of the n natural numbers. Now let us go to CMD and using CMD, let us try to print here. So this is a G drive. Then in this, this is CD followed by <clears throat> Python samples we write. Python samples. Then in this case, I just want to execute this. Yeah, this is Python followed by yeah, dot py. What it says, enter a number. I enter 10. What could be the sum of first 10 natural numbers, uh, Rahul? Sum of first 10 natural, 10 natural numbers. numbers. There is a formula in mathematics, n into n plus 1 by 2. It should be 55. Okay. So n into n plus 1 by 2, that is. So n means what? 10 into 10 plus 1 is how much? 11. When you divide that with 2, how much you get? You are going to get it as 55. Let us see result is 55 or not. It's printing the sum is 55. And what it says, the loop ended successfully, message. Okay. Okay, it comes to L spot. Now I enter here some 1A. In this case, it's error. What it says, error with the user input. Okay, okay. Because 1A cannot be converted to number, correct? Yeah, yeah. So like this is loop is working. Suppose you take first five numbers. What happens in that case? How much you get? If you go with the first five numbers, it should be 15 for us. It's printing 15 for us. Okay. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 is going to 15. 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 plus uh, uh, 3 is 6. 6 plus 4 is 10. 10 plus 5 is how much 15 you get. So sum of the first 5 natural numbers is how much you get it as 15. So if you give 100, in that case, it's going to be different again. How much you get in this case? 5050 five, you should get in that case. We are getting it as 5050. Five, because 100 into 100, uh, 101 divided by 2. When you divide 100 with 2, how much you get? 50, you get. 50 into 101 is going to be 5050 five, result. So in this okay. manner, this is going to be working. Okay, similarly, if you go with 100, what will happen? See, it's not 100,000 I take. So in the case of 1,000, it's going to be here. 500, 500, like this, this is printing for us. So this is basically a while loop. As long as the given condition is getting satisfied, the loop is working for us. Okay. Okay, now let us go with another example. It is called as here 9.py. Now, I'll go here with the 
9.py. So in the 9.py this time, <clears throat> I do in this manner. First of all, program to demonstrate a while loop. Okay, we are going to demonstrate a while loop in this case. Then here, go with the import right like this from math from math import random we are going to import random from the particular thing okay we are going to import actually random from the math library okay so now here I want to go with the while loop here. So what I do here, I go with the while through this is. Or else I try with some 10 numbers. Okay. I want to go here with the 10 numbers. Num equal to some 10 I put. 10 times I'm going to try here. While, while here in this case, num greater than or equal to zero in such cases i want to execute the loop here okay i want to go here with the r num that is random number equal to here i'll go with the random the dot followed by here random uh, i want to create in this case so here i can go with the random number Random is going to be exactly what for us? This is going to be here, a random actually. Mm. Okay, so here, I need to use here some random class. I want to work with some random number in this case. We need to generate here a random number. Okay. So we are importing random or else just go with the import random in that case. We are importing random in this case. So in this case, random dot followed by here, we have many such options in this case. So random dot, we have here a random. This time random is going to be here, a variable dot. It's going to give you flow type of data. But instead of that, we can take random in this case, then here will be the rand ILT. You can get actually the integer in that case. This is going to be here a method. Okay, an integer we are going to pick in this case. We have to give some start number and we have to give in this case some. Okay, I can start with some 100. Then followed by I want to enter some here 500. I need to pick in that range or number. It is going to be between 100 and 500. We are going with that particular thing here. Okay. So if the picked number is divisible by five, you need to exit from that. Otherwise you need to come to the else part. Okay, you are going to pick actually how many times? You are going to pick some 10 times. So here, right, if condition I take here, if R and O, then write in this case, like percent five equal to zero, this is the condition. In such cases, we need to print first of all here, what is picking, getting picked. So right here, print the number F string we take here, the number picked is, here we go with this, then followed by, in this case, we put it as R number. We are printing in that case. Next step is what? If it is five, then in such case, we need to break that particular thing. That means we need to come out from the loop. Okay, the next thing is what here? 
num equal to num minus 1. By 1, we need to decrement it. By 1, we have to decrement. We have taken with the if condition in that case. Okay. So now come to else part here. Else, we write this as here. Print. Okay. Here, the value of num is. So here, we go with this then write num. Like this, we have to print. Okay. So, whenever, I mean, whenever the num value is 0, that means what, uh, I mean, whenever num value is greater than, uh, sorry, it's not uh, greater than or equal to 1, I put here, 1 to 10. So, whenever number value is 0, in such case, you should come to this. Or else, due to some reason, whatever number is picked, if that is divisible exactly by 5, even in such case also, we should come out. This is the code. Always, it may not be coming to else part. Okay, but here what I put, I don't come to else part, print, here write, end of the, I mean program, end of the program, like this we put, end of the program, I'm going to write in this manner. Okay, and the value of num is, so in this case we put again this side num. Okay. So at the end of the program, what is the value of num? We are trying to print now in this example. So this is going to be generate of actually, uh, I mean, a random number. 10 times we are going to pick random number repeatedly. But whenever the number is actually divisible by 5 exactly, so in such case, we come out from that. We are going to be coming out from the loop. That is called as abnormal termination of the loop. So loop is going to be getting terminated abnormally in that case. So try to now execute it. Let us try to execute that particular thing. Okay, so let us try to execute that. Now here, this is what application name is 9. Python followed by 9.py we put here. So what is happening in this case? Uh, the, I mean numbers between... Uh... The random numbers it's generating between 100 and 5. Yes, 179, 103, 413, 351. Like this is printing. So there is some problem with this. Let us try to see the code. I am not using here f string. This is the problem. Similarly, here also, we don't use any f string. In this case, there's a problem again. Okay, now if you see here, are we having 215 is a lost number? 215 is a lost number. That must be. I mean, that, that will not be printed in the case of the else. When loop is actually executing, executed successfully, in such case, you don't have any problem. Okay. But uh, this, this will be getting printed. But otherwise, what happens? This part will not be getting printed. Loop is repeating 10 times. In such case, it will print. Once again, see here. So what is happening? When the value of num is 8, in that case, it's terminating. Initially, this is 10. This is 9 and this is 8. When value is 8, it's getting terminated. Okay. Now again, go with this. In this case also, it is 8 only. Once again, try here. So this time, after uh, value 1 only, it's getting terminated because 140 is getting picked up in that case. Now try again with this. In this case also, it is getting terminated. Now go here. How many times it's going like this? It is going 5 times. Okay. 10. Then how much it is 6? Then 10, 9, 8. Okay, seven, six, and five. After five, it's getting terminated. Once again, try to run this one here. So after one turn only, it's getting terminated. Again, go in this manner here. After actually two numbers, it's getting terminated because lost number is for a, how much? 130. 130 is divisible by exactly. Uh, it is exactly divisible by in that case. So five, therefore, it's not actually getting terminated. That means it's broken. I mean, it's coming out from that. It is not normal termination. But suppose I change in this case the code. I want to divide with the 7. So this possibility is going to be less for us. Probably 10 times is going to be running in that case. Even in this case also, it's giving actually how many times? It's 4 times only we have. Again, try. So in this case, what is happening? Full 10 times, it's getting printed for us. 148, 2, then 3, then 4, then 5, then 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So complete 10 times. And in that case, it's coming into L spot. In the else part, what is printing? The number is printing. Okay. The value of num, it is printing here. 
Okay, this is uh, right here. This is L spot. It's L spot like this we write. Okay, again try to execute now this here. What happens? See, so this time after I mean whenever the num is three at the time that is broken we got two sixty six. Two sixty six we can divide using seven. Seven three is twenty one you get and seven eight is fifty six. It is divisible. Now go with this here. Four fifty five you take. So seven three is or how much? Seven six or forty two. Seven five is thirty five. It's getting divided with that. So with this three rated if you take. Okay, seven five are how much? Thirty five and four remainder forty two. Seven six are forty two. That is working actually. If you go with this three twenty two, in this case also this gets divided. Seven four are twenty eight. You have seven four are twenty eight and four remainder four two seven six are forty two. You get. Okay, now in this case also you get. Even if you take seven, always you are not getting. Okay, always you are not getting. Even if you take the seven. Luckily, we got actually some third time or fourth time. So when you go with four, also always we are not getting the result for us. It's not always coming to L spot. Now in this case also, it's not coming to L spot. How many times it is? I mean, it's uh, gone from ten, <clears throat> then nine, then eight, then seven, then six, then five, then four, then three, then two. Whenever it is two, it is getting terminated. That means using break, we are coming out from that. So three twenty two. If you take, you can divide with seven. Seven fours are how much? Twenty eight. Four two. Seven six are forty two. So three twenty two is also divisible exactly by seven. Again, go with this. Now in this case, you have actually for ten times it is getting executed. So whenever it is zero, where we come exactly? We come to the else part. This is else part. The value of num is zero here. Okay. Whenever the loop is successfully getting executed, whenever the condition is becoming false, in such case, where do we come? We come to else part. Rahul, following this? Yeah, yes, sir. Yeah. So whenever this is not actually, whenever the condition is met, you are breaking out. Breaking means what here? You are breaking loop forcefully. So in such case, you don't come to the else part. Directly that uh, I mean. Yeah. Up. You, you come here. Whenever this is actually, whenever forcefully you are coming out. Whenever you are using break, in such case, what happens? The else part actually, you don't come to the else part. Okay. Okay, even possibility is what? Suppose you are you are going up to ten times, num equal to one. Okay, num value is how much in that case? It's going to be one only. So even in the case of one, one is the last number we have. Even in that case also, if it is last number, what you pick it actually? If it is divisible by seven, in that case also it's going to be breaking. So in such case also it comes. It does not come to else part. Okay. Understood here? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So. Now here one one more you try and see what happens. See, so this time only first number it has taken. So this time it's going actually see uh, total uh, six numbers, seven numbers it is taking in this case. Okay, again you try here what happens. So this time it is coming up to how many times? Ten times it is two forty seven if you take. So it is not divisible exactly by seven in that case. Again try here. Okay, again try in this case. Again, try. So you are getting actually this time two eighty four. Okay, in the case of two eighty four, seven four are twenty eight. You cannot get divide. You you cannot divide. So again, you are not coming. In, you you are coming into else part. Okay, try again in this manner here. You are getting four ten. Four ten one is a lost number. Four ten is a lost number which cannot be exactly divisible by seven. Okay, so take here one not seven. You have one not seven also exactly. Not divisible. Again, go with this here. You are getting this time four thirty two. Four thirty two. Can you divide this seven? You cannot divide seven six or forty two. You have, I mean, uh, two well in that case remainder. So even two forty also you cannot divide exactly with the seven. Okay. So you can keep on trying like this. At certain point of time, you can get the result. What I was saying actually. Okay. Now what is happening here? In this case also, it is picking actually ten numbers. Four seventy nine, four seventy nine, seven six or forty two, fifty nine. You have so it is not divisible. Okay. So you are going with one forty five. Even in this case also, it is not possible. So this is what num is one. In that case, you are coming out from the two eighty seven. Okay. So the value is num. How many times it is coming? One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. So total ten times you are getting. 
Even in that case, also you are not coming to L spot because loss number you picked is what here 287. So 287, how many times? 41 multi 41 multiplied by 7 is going to be 287. So in that case, 10 times it completed, but because of this condition. What is the condition here? If R number per uh, R number per 7 equal to 0, you are breaking in that case. Okay, that means last time it's not checking condition. If num equal to num minus 1, in that case, what happens? It becomes 0. Therefore, you come to L spot. But because of this condition, though 10 times it's completed, it is coming into this part. Straight away, it will it will not come to L spot. Okay. Understood this logic here? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay, so this is basically a while loop. So using while loop, you are doing like this. Okay. So, yeah. Oh, like C sharp, we no, no need to give incrementation like that. Now, what is the C sharp, Rahul? I mean, uh, like, see, C sharp, we no need to increment the. Uh, no, if we if you go with the for loop, you need to you need to do that. Oh, we need to increment. So okay. you don't require in the case of for loop because you have actually initialization value, then counter, you are going to increment. But in oh. this case, what is happening? You are decrementing, not incrementing, you are decrementing this one. Oh, yeah, okay. Num equal to num minus one, you are doing. Yeah, okay. Okay. Now I'll show you one more example related to while loop. So it's based on the DOB for us. Data part. Okay, suppose you are born some few years before. Every year, what day you celebrated birthday, you can print. Or else we go with some guessing game. We go with the while loop and we try to do some guessing game in this case. So here type, go with the guessing game. This is what here, ninth it is. Then we go with the tenth dot py. So this is going to be a guessing game. Guessing it using while loop in Python. So we are using in this case a guessing game using while loop in the Python. Okay, here first of all we need to import random. In this case, what happens? Computer guesses a number. You also have to uh, you also have to guess same number which was guessed by computer. Computer guesses some number, it can be between one and nine. Okay. And you also have to guess a number. You also have to guess a number. So what computer has guessed, you need to guess. Suppose okay. computer is guessing five. You need to guess exactly five. Okay, it's only guessing game. Exactly you cannot get. So like that, you have 10 options, 10 times you need to pick in that manner. Okay, here what I do, num equal to, I put it as 10. Okay, and C guess, E, uh, C guess equal to some zero I put here and you guess that means user guess is going to be in this case this also is zero I declare a variable then right here I mean uh, we go here with the num equal to while loop I take here while and score also you need to take initially score equal to zero you go with the zero then right here while num greater than or equal to zero we go with that condition well num is greater than or equal to not zero one only ten times i need to repeat this one okay in such cases i need to execute this so i'll go here c guess equal to its computer guess so what i have to do in such cases c guess equal to random dot so rand int, I can go with random int. Here I can pick actually a number between zero and 10. Okay, you can pick therefore it's going to be zero to nine in such cases. Okay, the next thing is here, u guess. So in the case of the u guess, I go here with the try block. Okay, then followed by here I write uh, input, like I can write, so u guess equal to u guess equal to write this as int, then write here input. Okay, input this is write this as enter a number. Enter any number. 
Okay, enter a number. Okay, between one to nine. Guess a number, not enter. Guess a number, I say. Between one to nine, this is. Okay, we have to guess in that case. Now, what we do here, we try to compare in this manner. You write if in this case, write this as if you guess equal to, it is exactly what C guess. In such cases, you increase the score. Score equal to score plus one. You can put in that manner. Score equal to score plus one. Else nothing happens. You come to here, catch block, not catch. It is accept. You don't report anything, but what you do here, you are just going to increment, except you can write just pass in this case. Score will not be getting incremented. Okay, score, uh, score will not be getting incremented. Then here, what I write is, okay, we are going to write uh, in this case. Anyhow, here we need to print. Yes. Okay, score. This is score. Uh, sorry, C O R E. Correct. Score equal to score plus one. We need to write here. I'm going to pass that. Pass meaning is what? It will not do anything in that case. So here, what I can do if everything is correct, we come to this point, then we can go in this manner. Print. Write this as here. F string. Write here computer guess. is going to be like here, it is C guess. Okay, similarly, user guess. Equal to this is here, U guess. Similarly, we go here with the and write score equal to, what do we write here? In this case, we write this as here, score. Like this, we are keeping it. Okay, we pass in such cases. Next thing is what we need to increment decrement number num equal to num minus one. Okay, and also you can print here invalid input. User missed a chance. Like this, you have here. Okay, and here you need to put here this one as okay. This is here, right? Print go here and f string we take. Sorry, f you need to put here. Your choice is you here you go with this, then followed by put it as actually num. Your choice is. In this case, you need to go with the right like this here. Num minus 10. Then write this as here. Okay. Num plus 1 minus 10 we write. Choice 1, choice 2, choice 3. Like that, it's going to be giving us. Okay. Num plus 1 minus 10. Initially, it is choice 1, then choice 2, then choice 3. Like that, it's going to be printing for us. In that manner, it can be getting printed for us. Num 1 minus 10 I have given. It's going to print accordingly. Num equal to num minus 1. We have. Okay, then we come to this part. Here, write else. Okay, write here, print. In this case, write here. F here. A guessing game. End it. And score is. And final score is okay. Here we go with this. Then in this, you can write here score. Like this, you can print actually the score. So, this is what basically a decimal game we are doing. So, try to run this. What is the name of this year? This is 10th.py. Let us run this year. 
go to this part, then here write Python followed by tenth dot p one. You put like this. So choice one, it says it gets a number between one and nine. I enter four. So what is happening? Computer guesses two, user guesses four, score is one. Now next thing I enter five. So what it says in this case, it says minus one. Your choice is minus one. It is saying this is basically wrong. Score should be guess zero, user guess five. So there is something wrong. You, you cannot have user choice as minus one. Okay. So just type control C in this case. Control C we put. We can terminate this one here. We are terminating in this manner. Why it is giving minus one? Let us see. Okay, now we put how much initially 10? 10 plus 1, 11 minus 10. Then after that, 9 plus 1 is going to be. So this is wrong actually. We cannot use this kind of thing. So here we have to go with the I mean none minus uh, we can we not we cannot go with this. You need to write here actually 10 minus num. Plus one, if you put, I think this is going to give you correct result for us. Okay, correct result this can give us. Now, just once again, try to run this. Choice one here, I enter four. Okay, computer guess seven, user guess four, score is zero. Now, this it's saying two, go with the five in this case. Okay, user computer guess is 10, so 10 you cannot have. So, sorry to uh, do that here. Okay, we cannot have actually 10 in such cases. So therefore, we need to go here in this case with the 9. 0 to 9, we need to pick. It can be between 0 to 9. Then here, try to run this. Choice 1, I go with the 7. Okay, computer guess it 4, user entered 7, score is here, 0. I guess this time 4. So computer guess 2, user guess 4, and score is like this. I enter this time 3. So what is happening here? Computer guess three, user guess three, score is one, one incremented. Now I go here with a nine. What is happening in this case? Computer guess is two, user guess is nine, score equal to one, no improvement in that case. I go with a two now in this case. Computer guess one, user guess two, score is one. Go with a four in this case. Now what is happening? User guess is three, computer guess is three, user guess is four, score is one. So I go here with this time with a six. What happens in such cases? Computer guess is zero, user guess is six, score is one. I enter one this time. So what is happening here? Computer guess is eight, user uh, guess is one, score is one. So nine, we have come here now. So go with in this case, some two you take in this case. So computer guess is six, user guess is two, score is one. Last, let us try here, eight, you enter. Computer guess zero, user guess eight, score is one. Only one score we could get. Guessing game ended and final score is what? In this case, it is one. Okay, this is going to be a guessing game kind of thing. Okay, so, yeah. so once again, you can run and you can see what happens. Matching guessing exactly is going to be difficult. I go with the seven. I can go with the two. Okay, I can go here with seven again. I can go with the three in this case. I can go with zero. Okay, I can go here with the two again. I can go here with the four. I'll go with the three. What is happening? So the score is always that much only. We never have actually the score. Score is going to be zero. None of the guesses is actually correct in that case. So this okay. is a code with the help of this. What we do, we are actually guessing the number. Computer is guessing a number. What computer has picked that we are trying to guess in this case. This is called as guessing game. Okay. Does this code? Yeah, yes, sir. Yeah. So using while loop, you are doing like this here. So you have a while loop followed by you have else part. When the loop is coming to, when the no, loop is getting I mean, terminated, you come to else part. Only, only 10 choices we can have, sir? Like, you have only 10 because we gave that only condition. While okay. num greater than or equal to one and on the top, how much we have given? 10 we have given. Okay, yes, yeah. Okay, so we have given 10. So 10 times only this works. 11th time yeah. it will not work. Okay. Sir. So this is basically a guessing game. Using while loop, we have done it. Okay, sir. Understood this? Yeah, yes, sir. Yeah. yeah. So, Vashni, are you following all this? Uh, yes, sir. Okay. So, you can go through those videos also. Earlier creative videos, you can go through. I mean, you have any prior experience in the software development?
sir you have any prior experience in software development and uh, no sir i only completed in a, um, degree co degree only okay uh, so bsc or what exactly it is uh, mca sir mca have completed so after yes. that you haven't done any job uh, no i am not uh, doing job so 